Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. I hope all is well. All right. In this video, we're going to look at writing equivalent rational expressions with monomial denominators. Denominators. So we have to think a little bit. Um, what we're trying to figure out is what did we multiply this first denominator by? What do we multiply it by to get whatever that second denominator is? So we have 3v. What do we multiply 3v times to get to 9v to the sixth? That is the question that we are asking ourselves. What do we multiply 3v times to get to 9v to the sixth? So three times what number, What three times what is nine? Well, we know that three times three is nine, okay? v to the first times what is v to the sixth? So remember, when you multiply like basis, you're just adding the exponents. So the quickest way to do that is just to subtract those. So v to the fifth. So we had to multiply 3v to the first by 3v to the fifth to get 9v to the sixth. So what we want to do, we want to multiply by that same thing up here, and that's what would go in the block. The result would go in the empty block there. So uh, 3v to the fifth times four, well, three times four is 12v to the fifth. And that's it. So what we're saying, we're saying that four, three v to the first is equivalent to 12 v to the fifth over nine v to the sixth because we multiply the top and bottom by the same thing. Now, one quick way to figure out what you multiply it by, you can come out to the side and divide those two denominators. Nine divided by three is three, v to the sixth divided by v to the first using the quotient rule is v to the fifth. So you see we had to multiply by three to the, v to the fifth to get there. Okay, so let's look at another one. So again, we're asking the question, what do we multiply x to the third by to get two x to the fifth? If, if you can't see it, just come out to the side and divide. So two divided by understood one is still two, x to the fifth divided by x to the third, quotient rule is x squared. So that tells me that I multiply by two x squared. So if I multiply the bottom by two x squared to get there, then I need to multiply the top number by two x squared to see what goes in that blank. So three times two is six and keep the x squared. So three over x to the third is equal to six x squared over two x to the fifth. And that's how you do that. Alrighty, hope you found this video to be helpful and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.